Yeah, there's a significant amount of work planned at the West Musgrave project in the next 12 months as part of the sort of uh, further scoping study work um, with the Oz funding. It really revolves around uh, the metallurgy. So there's a metal met drilling program that will take place uh, this year and then further test work and, and process flow sheet design. There'll also be um, in the new year some uh, further resource extension drilling, chasing some of these higher grade um, massive sulphide zones at both Nebo and Babel that remain open. That work will then flow into some future mining optimization and uh, infrastructure studies and really look at a couple of different options that uh, we believe will add significant value to the project and then carry forward into the feasibility study. Apart from the, the development work, there's also some exploration. So uh, we're looking to get out and drill uh, a deep diamond hole at Sukkoth, which is just north of Nebo Babel. Here we're chasing high grade um, copper and nickel at depth. It's an EIS funded hole. Uh, that drilling will commence in the next week. And then later in the program, but still sort of this year, we'll go back to One Tree Hill and drill an off-hole conductor that we identified uh, after a drill program, uh, sort of a maiden drill program there in December last year. So a fair bit of development and exploration work coming up over the next uh, six to nine months. Uh, the joint venture with Oz Minerals is progressing quickly. Um, we, you know, we've finalised all the JV agreements, the initial funding has, has commenced. We're out on the ground out there in the West Musgrave uh, as we speak. And uh, really we've got a fairly full program over the next sort of six to nine months. Um, they're a good partner, they're very aligned, they've got great uh, capability in terms of remote mine building and that complements our strength really in the geology. Uh, they're very focused and aligned with us in getting this asset into production. Yeah, the SPP we currently have open, um, and which closes on the 7th of, no of November, is really to raise uh, funds to continue some of our exploration. Um, it's been well supported currently to, by shareholders and uh, the feedback's been very positive so we look forward to uh, hopefully closing that out uh, on the 7th of November. Because of the funding from Oz Minerals, really these funds will be used for uh, exploration and progressing some of our existing sort of 100% owned Cassini projects and also for working capital. The projects that we're looking to progress with this are the Mount Squires Gold Project where we're currently finalising uh, some of the approvals to get on onto country um, and we expect to be out there in the new year um, running a, uh, a geochem and also a, a drilling program looking at some gold targets. The funding will also be used for uh, progressing the Western Runter project which we uh, did some drilling on last year. So uh, that will primarily be in the form of some EM to assist us with some targeting and generating some, some new drilling targets. Yeah, the nickel price outlook is definitely more positive uh, than it was 12 months ago. We really hit a low back in February this year. Um, even without the, the uh, Philippines ban, the outlook for nickel was positive. Uh, the supply side is, is starting to reduce and some of the stockpiles are now reducing. And there's also been an increase in, in the stainless steel production coming out of China. So both those sort of drivers um, are important in, in driving the nickel price. There's also a real dearth of um, nickel sulphide projects in the pipeline once it Nova comes on. So, so we, we are optimistic that the price of nickel will continue to grow over the next 12 to 18 months. And uh, you know, I think that'll be a real positive for our project. Yeah, the Mount Squires Gold project uh, is uh, currently, we're just finalising the approvals to get on ground. So that involves uh, final negotiation with the, the community out there, which we have a meeting uh, in the next couple of weeks. We expect to be out on the ground uh, in the new year, probably uh, in March, to be uh, conducting a field program, which will include some geochem and also uh, some drilling of some historical gold targets that have delivered some good numbers. So that will improve our understanding and progress that project forwards. The West Arunta Zinc project, we went out and drilled uh, earlier this year. Uh, we had some good success in terms of finding some zinc uh, enrichment. 
the work that we need to do now is really to get a better understanding of uh, where that enrichment is coming from. So the plan is to fly some EM to have a really a look at the, the, the bedrock and, and get an understanding of uh, really, I guess, the water flow and, and sort of the bedrock uh, profile. Uh, that will occur uh, in the new year and that will help us uh, generate some drill targets and we have some funding for some, uh, some EIS funding for some drilling out there which we hope to conduct in the first half of next year.